Hey, como se va? Welcome to the Dr. Butt Show. I'm going to give you all a little time to adjust to the fact that there's a, a kooky little claymation doctor on the screen. Everybody's going to flip out. But, but welcome to the Dr. Butt Show. What we're trying to do with the Dr. Butt Show is not only are we going to give you good medical information and take on everybody everybody's questions comes up like that but specifically in this episode of the dr butt show what i what i'm trying to do is test out this this software so i can do not just me but cajun nerd media that that fool that i work for at the network and and so what we're trying to do is test out all the streaming capabilities and and see what we can do like that and if y'all have a question y'all can type that on the screen and 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 and, and y'all can join me and I, i'll i'll answer any question or talk to you in any way you want you want it rough i'll give it to you rough you want it smooth dr bud can be smooth so Really, I'm just here to, to, to test the software, but if y'all want to start talking and and, and in some questions. All right. Como se va, Brandon Stadler on, on YouTube? And, and Bryce Joseph said, Dr. Butt, and I agree with that assessment, Bryce Joseph. And um, the, the Jaron uh corville he's talking about the black thing and the crawfish a crot is it a crot or a vein so let, let's discuss that that black thing in the crawfish is that some crot or is that uh some sort of you know vein from i, I took biology at lsue i took that biology at, at lsue and and i got a whole medical degree from lsue so uh in biology in the animal biology we learned uh that 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 that, that poopy that black thing in the crawfish is actually uh that's a vein i mean that's that's that shit that's that's the mad the mad that's 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 poop the clock yeah that's clock all right so moving on uh, um, Lolita Benoit Robin on on uh, Facebook. She would like to say hello. And on this show, we say "Me comment ça va, chat." Uh, Jade LaBeouf wants to know about the the butt spray. Uh, I did invent uh, Doctor Butt's butt spray. And, and I'm very proud of it. T. Adam J. did an infomercial for it, and it went crazy. Y'all went nuts over the butt spray. We sold over uh, 50,000 units of butt spray. I sold more butt spray than Jamie Bajeron sells uh, uh, beef jerky him. So, and then hello, uh, Father John Brown. That's my favorite priest. He never fiddled my diddle or nothing, but I love him. And he can't believe he's watching. I can't believe a priest is watching me either. Jesus. I never would have taught it in a million years, me. Not only am I, I mean, priests, they, they don't believe in science or medicine. And I, I don't really follow uh, any of the laws or uh, prescriptions of the Catholic Church. So, uh, and let's see. Uh, if... So let's try this. If you're on StreamYard, I just posted a little link, come so, and I'm gonna check something out else. I'm gonna check something else out. Me, hold on. If you're on uh, Cajun Nerd Media, oh shit, that ain't gonna work. Hold on. If you're on Cajun Nerd Media. I just put the stream yard. 
so that y'all can uh Oof. Am I still on? All right, sorry, I got confused. All right, I put the stream yard on uh for Cajun Nerd Media and uh the other one at uh so if y'all want to join me, if y'all want to be on the Dr. Butt show, all you gotta do is uh go to the little link. And if you need the link personally and you know the actual fella, like uh his name's Ash Reese, if you know him, and you and you want to hit him up on instant messenger and get a link to where you can come on the Dr. Butt show, you can do that. Or you can message uh Cajun Nerd Media. Or, or what else we on? Uh, you can message, yeah, message Cajun Nerd Media, and I, I'll personally, Doctor Butt, me, I'll send you the link, and you can come on the Doctor Butt show. Anybody can come on the Doctor Butt show. It, it's, I mean, it's real easy. I'll send you a link, and then if you on your phone and all that, you just pop the link, and then boom, you're on the Doctor Butt show. It's easy. So what else we got? Uh, Joseph Arsenal, Mikoma Sova. So, what I'm saying is, Dr. Uh, I mean, uh, Father John Brown, if you want to come on the Dr. Bud show, uh, I'll give you a little link. Me and, and being on the Dr. Sh Bud show is like Billy's. All you got to do is just, just let me know and I'll give you a link. Me. So, but. So I'm still fielding questions. I mean, I got some opinions about uh, us all going. Remember last year when there was COVID and it wasn't even all that bad for the kids? And they were like, no, leave the kids at home. I mean, make the kids stay at home forever. And now that the COVID is like killing kids, bring them to school. We want to let we want to like play human caterpillar with your children and sew each other's mouths to each other's buttholes. And then just like go to recess like that. And that don't make no sense to me. Last year, it was stay home. Even though only like 85-year-olds could get COVID and die from it. Now this year, that like actual children are dying. They want me to send my kids back to school. And I, I don't get it. Can anyone explain to me? What seems sketchy, Dr. Uh, Father? Uh, did me invite you on the show, Father John, or or, or uh, the 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 schools and how they're acting right now? Here's my here's my crazy conspiracy because I'm a ten four freak, right? I'm some kind of ten four couillon, right? So here, here here's what I'm thinking. It's like y'all ever watch that Star Wars with the the. The kind of crappy one we, 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 when everybody had a mullet, that Star Wars, and they had uh, that, that uh, the Chancellor Palpatine, and, and he became the emperor, and it's like once, because he got these emergency powers. And it's the same thing with the school. Once you give the school all kinds of emergency powers, and no, there's no transparency anymore, and you can't come and check your kids out in person, and you can't come like into the classroom and observe what's going on. Like once they get the, the ability to not give you any more transparency, they're never gonna give that up. So every year there's gonna be some kind of COVID at school. They're never gonna give up like the ability to just keep the parent out of school. Man, Fauci is a hemorrhoid. He done in the 80s. He, he killed half the homos with the AIDS. He invented that. And then and then now he wants to kill all our kids. That damn Fauci. But everyone, if you watch CNN and you watch all that, that, you know, all the, you know, NBC and CBC and DVD and all that, they all say the same thing. Listen to the doctors. Listen to the experts. I'm Dr. Butt. There's no doctor better than me. I, I, my name is Doctor. It's my first name. I'm the greatest graduate of the LSUE medical department that ever graduated. Or not graduated.
So let's see what we got. Uh, well, okay. Mark Mark Shields asked if Dr. Bud got vaccinated. And yes, um, like I told y'all last year, I was very much involved. They had me and uh, Dr. Mouton at the New Iberia Primate Research Facility. Uh, we did lots of um, our own studies and our own uh, studies on monkey blood, mercurochrome monkey blood. <clears throat> And then monkey blood, like, really causes a complete immunity to all, uh, you know, bat originated diseases. So I vaccinated myself with, with mercurochrome, which is monkey blood. And then eventually, um, the, the, my friend, Dr. Mouton, at the uh, New, Iberia, New Iberia Primate Research Facility, they, they kind of got into some trouble because of some of the, the ways they were using to harvest the monkey's blood. No, Boudreau, like we were involved, Andrew, Andre, I'm sorry, Andre, we were involved in the development of Boudreau's butt paste. But I am not the doctor that, that invented it. But I was involved. They were using uh, petroleum mud that they got out uh, the Gulf to, to make the butt paste. And, yeah, I was involved in the original uh, formulation. But I am not the inventor. I invented Asprey. No. I use monkey blood. I don't, I don't need any other form of medicine. So a little bit of monkey blood, a little bit of robotussin, and I'm fine, me. So, uh, yes, you got to wear a mask. And if y'all visit the, the T Public page for um, Cajun Nerd Media, you will find our very own Dr. Butt mask. The Dr. Butt is my face on the mask. You get my mouth and my nose and my little chin comes up. And it's on the mask. And, and, and studies have shown, my own personal studies have shown, that, that my face repels viruses, like the image of my face comes out. It repels the virus. And then if you actually buy my ass spray and spray it on my Dr. Butt mask, that is double protection. That's like getting five doses of the, of the Pfizer. That's like getting five Pfizer shots. I need to be paid. That joke was so good just now. I need I need to get paid a little bit, me. I need to be paid for these streams. Yeah, T public is a little bit public, but I don't have like boxes full of t-shirts in my closet, all of the dumb shit I made over the years. Yeah, I'm handsome, Brandon Brown. You don't know I'm good looking. If you want to come on the show and and and, and why don't you click the little link if you so if you so brave and come on the Dr. Bud show. What else they got? Ronald Ryder got both shots on on uh YouTube him. So, if you, there's a link on YouTube on the comments that I put, and there's a link on Facebook in the comments I put, if you click that link, it'll send a thing, and I'll be able to invite you on the show. And you come on your little Facebook, I mean, your little uh, cell phone, and you can be on the show. That's what it's all about. Oh, the, the new Doppler 3000 that, that Rob Perillo got? We predicted that in, in GI Bro. Watch GI Bro uh, with Rob Perillo. Rob Perillo actually plays himself as uh, Destro Perillo in, in, in uh, GI Bro number two or three or whatever it is. Masks do not pre prevent the foie, but it might prevent you from smelling someone else's B.O. Of that that stands for butt odor.
you can use the Cajun injector to inject a uh, mercurochrome that is monkey blood directly into your, your bodily system. May law says Bill Simon. Corey Davis is dying because of the mercurochrome jokes. I only have six jokes and, and monkey blood is, is like three of them. And then the other three are magnolite pot related, I think. Boy, this is nice catching up with all you fine folk. Uh, I like I like how this streams out. I'll tell y'all that I like how it streams out because like I get I can answer messages from uh, Facebook and YouTube and like multiple Facebook pages at once. Samantha, it says Samantha Simmons, but I'm just gonna call you Samantha Seymour because that makes me feel better about myself. And uh, yeah, they, I mean, yeah, I got six jokes and they're all fire. So let me see. Um, but where you at, Jaron Corville? You on uh, which uh, Facebook page you on? Because I could like hit that, you know, if you're on uh, let me see. I'm going to go to Kajun real quick, but y'all might pick up on the microphone. So let me hit Kajun. That's that, that, uh, that little communist fella that, that tried to burn Lafayette down and is being sued by uh, Josh Guillory. He got his own. Yeah, you're on Kajun. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you up with the link. Hold up. Hold up. Everybody else, y'all just got to wait a second because one fella wants a link. Getting the link for my partner. All right. So if I go to Kajun. So, all right. In the comments on Kajun, I am pasting the link that y'all can request to come be on the show. And it's also in the comments of the Facebook, uh, Cajun Nerd Media, and it's also on the comments of the YouTube page. Whew! That's work. And it pops up in this StreamYard thing. Spill that wine. Take that pearl. Spill the wine. Take that pearl. You. All right. Oh, and then Travis, I want I want to I want to give y'all something that Travis uh my my partner Travis just said and that's Lord of mercy, my Aunt Mercy D says she going to tack weld up on that COVID, boy. I was working with a little British woman the other day, and, and she didn't understand a word I was talking about me. She thought I was crazy. So, I'm mean, just reading your comments real quick. Don't mind me. But yeah, so everybody here's uh, where's my office at? Uh, in the all center. If y'all go like you know where a la carte is, and you go behind a la carte, and there's like a little. It used to be where they the, like the boil shack for a la carte, and now it's just that's my office. They used to ball crabs back there, but you know it's good enough for me. I write them Durkaset scripts. Nobody bothers me much. Potato. Potato on uh, that YouTube says hi. And Tyler DeMarcy says professional strength, boy. Yeah, you can. I mean, it depends which of the vaccines you want to use, Bill Simon or Bill Seymour. 
Oh yeah, my office smells like the crabs, but Well, you see, Mike Fontenot, what I want you to know is that we reached out to um to the Burger Time because of all the, the the good you know the good work we've done over the years covering the Cajun Blaze and the Bon Ton Poulet Burger, and we wanted to do you know some commercials for him, and he just told us to go fuck ourselves just straight up, and I was like, damn, he's like. I'm going to ride this free media publicity. They're giving it to me for free right now. I'm just going to ride that. And when it's time to give somebody some money to do commercials, I'm going to give it to them. Just like every other restaurant in Lafayette that tried to use uh, Cajun Air Media stuff. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even get a postcard. I didn't even get a thank you for memeing them back to life. I did some great, some great uh, stuff about uh, Burger Time. Some of my best work was making fun of how much uh, Tony Sashers they put in Burger Time. I'm most proud of that. I mean, we, I'm just Dr. Butt. I'm not Ash. I'm, I'm, I'm Dr. Butt. All right, so <clears throat> when, when not me, but the creator of all this was, a, a, you know, a young man, he, he moved to Eunice and lived in a trailer with his partner. And, uh, and, and so there's a, there's a thing called Statutes of Lim Limitations. So let's just say, hypothetically, someone stole a whole bunch of nitrous oxide from a welding supply yard. All right. Let's just say it was the mid 90s and, and raves was a thing and all that. And uh, let's just say, for argument's sake, that, that, that someone would steal like just several five foot tanks of nitrous oxide and take them to New Orleans to raves. All right. And for argument's sake, let's say that fella would get just so messed up that he couldn't drive his own car. So he would get like a 15 year old boy that might have been named T-Balls to drive him around. And let's just say sometimes he'd wake up and not know anything for days. But that's about all I could say about Eunice in the mid 90s and, and the boys and the, the things they did. And 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 at no point was nitrous oxide traded for cocaine with DJ Kaoki. And at no point did we have some strange, weird thing going on in the park in New Orleans. With, with DJ Kaoki and, and, and the whores that followed him around. Who got messed up? Tyler De DeMary? Oh, yeah. The boys in the parking lot of Mako's, they, they were buying and selling more drugs than the pharmacy that I refer people to. What wife, Mrs. Butt? You don't talk about Mrs. Butt. Oh, no, I'm not a doctor of the butt. I'm a Dercocet writing doctor, and I, I have found, I've done work uh, with the monkey farm in New Iberia, and we have found over... 73,000 uses of mercurochrome, which is uh, derived from the monkey's blood. Thank you, potato. Yeah, well, I was never a roadie for acid bat. 
I used to tour with Acid Bat as the, the, the doctor. You know, when these big bands and these groups and all that and these outfits, they call them. We call them outfits. Anytime you get more than three people together, that's an outfit. And, and uh, I used to uh, tour with them and make sure that nobody OD'd. And if they did, uh, we would blame it on the promoter in that city. Now, although I'm not a doctor of the butt, I mean, depending on how, the, how she looks, yeah, I'll check her butt out, me. Shout out to the Whiskey Bay Hunting Club, Whiskey Bay. All right, so what you're going to need if you go into the uh, Swinger Trailer Park in Mamu, Mike Fontenot, is you're going to need, okay, you're going to need lots of vitamins, lots of like B vitamins and E vitamins, and maybe even some G. But beyond that, you're going to need penicillin, menicillin, and womenicillin. Because that you're gonna be messing with boat out there swing you're gonna be swinging i watch them old movies sometimes one man's uh kibbles is laying on top of the other man's bits and that ain't right that ain't right no oh wait wes i don't know who you are i'm about to put you the last on I'm from up the road down the berry. What's <laughs> up, so Wes? Uh, stop cutting yourself off, Wes. I'm about to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm listening to King of the Hill in the background. Oh, no. So, what's up, Wes? You on the Dr. Butt show? What's your question for Dr. Butt? I got a question. Um, How effective is the COVID vaccine for New Iberians? Well, you see, in New Iberia, most all laws of physics and natural science cease to exist because the the average New Iberian, it, it's like they, they, they so it only New Iberia matters. Only New Iberia matters. Only what people knew from New Iberia say matters. That like the virus don't know what to do, so I think they're completely immune. Well, I think it has a lot to do with the haircuts. It gives that special, an extra layer of immunity to the people. Well, for sure. Like if if the if, if someone like okay, there are a lot of short people in New Iberia, and if you were taller than them and you infected and you sneeze on them, that that little <laughs> claw, it's like you know, it's it's gonna catch it like a comb, you know. I got you. I got you. Hey, hey, Wes, it, it's been great having you on the show. Thank you, sir. You have anything else you want to say for the audience, the Dr. Butt Acadiana audience? I want to tell everybody, just keep it in the berry, get the haircut, and get vaccinated. Get vaccinated, everybody, or take my special Mercurochrome treatment, monkey blood. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show, Wes. We love you. <laughs> love you. All right, that was Wes from down the road in Patasa of New Iberia. There's lots of Patasas. I know the people in Eunice think that they have the only Patasa, but there are many, many Patasas in the world. No, I do not want to see your partner with butt cancer. I would, what I want you to do, uh, Ver Juice, is to take some of my Mercurochrome remedy. And, and take your finger, your, your middle finger, and, and rub it around the rim of his troubled area. And then, and then, and then let me know how that, that works out for y'all. If not, y'all become closer. If it doesn't heal him of can a butt cancer, you and him are going to become real close. And that's, that's not bad. What would happen to the world if COVID variant originates from New Iberia? Now, COVID comes from bats, and specifically the bats in Gaydon. 
once Jude Reese took over in Gator as mayor, they, that's when the bats in the school and all that started. And within a year, COVID wiped out half a gate on. They're known for two things, ducks and bats. And the bats cause COVID. We all know this. I've never been to Rouse's on Congress, but I think that the current way that they're trying to what they're trying to do with uh, the the VD is to get it all to go to the trailer park, uh, the swingers park in Mamu, and they're getting Taylor and fit. I mean Taylor and Phil from Church Point and all that, and they're all gonna move in to Mamu, and they're going they're gonna do that. All right, y'all. Last chance to be on the Dr. Butt Show. If you want to call in and be on Dr. Butt Show, there's links on all the little things I streamed on. We commented somewhere. You'll click the link. Oh, Paul Daddy, here's a little story about Taylor and Phil. I see y'all. All right. Uh, Lolita Robin, uh, Dr. Bud, does the Pfizer shot work like Viagra? Asking for a friend. I'll tell you one thing that works better than Viagra, and that's Dr. Bud's patented Mercurochrome treatment. It cures everything. You just you use the Cajun injector and you put that right into the, the, um, the, the bibbit area of the male of the species. Um, other things that work for, for male potency is to like use, um, my, my patented Dr. Butts Aspray as a, like a breath spray. And you go, ah, ah, like that. Boy, I'm going to have to go all the way to another program to put my finger in my nose. Jesus, I'll prove it to you, Rhett, that I do have access to fingers and noses. Oh, wait. This is going to be too much work. Let me get my arm. Now I get my little hand working. From, so I'm going to have to like build. Oh, there we go. I got his mouth. Look at my little suri. All right, y'all. I got a suri. Come ça. I can't pick my nose, but I can show you my little suri. So, <laughs> I've got that red, red, oh, trying to challenge me. You want to eat my suri? You come on my show. You come on the little show, come sa. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try new um, monkey blood treatments on this little suri I got right here. I found that in the cane field like that. And uh, I'm going to ignore, JC, I'm going to ignore all your little drugs. All your little drug comments, you little dope head. So, but yeah, I think we've had a great first Test run of the Dr. Butt show. And and we're going to like wrap it up from right now. I think we've had a successful Dr. Butt show. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming on the Dr. Butt show and typing in your comments. And you can uh, get Dr. Butt's Asprey at, at Rouse's like that. Right next to all the DJ Rhett uh, stuff. 
yeah um we're gonna be trying different you know it might not always be dr butt streaming like this it might be some other you know things but yeah i really like to have people on more but 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 thank y'all thank y'all for coming on the dr butt show uh checking it out it was a good i think we had a good little run and uh we're gonna see we're gonna see what's up with dr butt and all the streaming like that all right y'all uh y'all drive safe